Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will discuss about the IS curve and its algebraic derivation. First of all, uh, this IS is derived from goods market equilibrium. That is, uh, this IS curve, IS curve is, uh, it is derived from the uh, goods, goods market or product to market equilibrium. Product to market equilibrium. I will write here product to uh, market equilibrium. Now this IS shows us uh, the different combinations of income and interest rate at which the goods market is in equilibrium. That is, uh, if we plot it on graph and on this axis uh, we denote on the horizontal axis we write uh, the income and on vertical axis we have the rate of interest. Then IS curve is actually the downward sloping curve and it shows us the different combinations of rate of interest let us say this is r1 and y1 similarly r2 r2 and y2 and so on every point on the is curve shows a unique combination of rate of interest and income level where the goods market is in equilibrium and on every point on is curve savings is equal to savings is equal to investment because is stands for investment and savings that is uh, this is curve shows is curve uh, shows i will write here shows the different uh, the uh, different combinations of uh, combinations of income and rate of interest rate of interest interest at which uh, i will write at which uh, goods market is in equilibrium goods market or product market goods market is in equilibrium equilibrium so actually this is curve is i will write here this is the is curve it shows different combinations of income and interest rates uh, where the product market or goods market is in equilibrium now uh, to derive the is curve algebraically so we will derive the is curve algebraically here for that uh, for that we need the aggregate aggregate demand model or income ex uh, expenditure model that is we know that y that is total income is equal to aggregate demand which is equal to so we will take uh, the four sector model which is uh, y is equal to the consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure uh, plus uh, government spending and um, we have the net exports i will write this nx that is uh, aggregate demand is equal to the consumption plus investment plus government spending and net exports we know that uh, this consumption function we have seen this is equal to consumption is equal to uh, a uh, plus by where this a is the autonomous consumption that very uh, consumption uh, when the income level is zero that's called the autonomous consumption so this is autonomous autonomous consumption and here this b is our marginal uh, propensity to consume okay so consumption uh, is the function of income Similarly, our investment uh, investment uh, function is given by that is given by. So uh, I will write here. This is our consumption function first. This is the consumption function. Consumption function. Similarly, we have the investment function. That is this way. We know the investment is the 
function of rate of interest so that is investment is equal to i bar that is autonomous investment minus dr where this uh, i bar is the autonomous investment autonomous investment and d is our marginal propensity to investment so this is mp i and r is the rate of interest rate of interest that means investment is the negative function of rate of interest that is when the rate of interest is low when the rate of interest is low our investment would be high okay this autonomous investment is that very investment which doesn't depend upon the rate of uh, investment here so we have this consumption function and investment function uh, let us uh, assume that uh, this government spending and net exports these are the autonomous variables they are autonomous uh, i will write autonomous variables so g and x so i will write g plus nx that is government spending and net exports uh, is autonomous autonomous these are the autonomous uh, values and they are independent they are independent independent of both uh, income and rate of interest so we assume these are the autonomous values and they don't uh, depend upon their rate uh, the Mm, sorry the income level or rate of interest okay now uh, what will be our so i will rub this out then our product to market is in equilibrium so our product to market is in equilibrium i will write uh, product market is in equilibrium is in equilibrium equilibrium when we have y that is the income is equal to aggregate demand which is equal to consumption which is the function of income that means when we have uh, more income there will be more consumption plus i or that is uh, investment is the rate of sorry investment is a function of rate of investment and there is a negative relationship between investment and rate of interest here there is positive relationship between consumption and investment sorry uh, income and we have the government expenditure which is which is the autonomous uh, government expenditure and nx these are the autonomous variables now uh, we can write this as we have seen our consumption function is a plus by and our uh, investment function was i uh, minus uh, dr and we have the government expenditure and this net exports which we have derived earlier so our y is equal to this now we will transpose this y to the lhs so this will become y minus b y is equal to we have here a that is a uh, autonomous uh, income plus this i autonomous investment uh, so i will write then this g that is the autonomous expenditure plus nx and lastly i will write this minus d r where d is the mpi and r is the rate of interest now we will factor out y here so y we factor out we are here with then one minus b because y is common in both of these two terms so this will become uh, a plus i bar plus g plus n x minus dr or we can write it as y is equal to now we will transpose this one minus b uh, uh, to the rhs here it is in multiplication it will become the 
denominator here so this is a plus i plus g plus nx uh, divided by 1 minus b 1 minus b similarly we will write here minus dr divided by uh, 1 minus b so here it's 1 minus b now as we have seen these very things these very terms are autonomous values so i will write these are the autonomous values so in place of uh, uh, these values we will write a because they don't depend upon the rate of interest or income these are the autonomous parameters or values so in place of them i will write this is equal to capital a so then our y is equal to uh, 1 divided by 1 minus b or uh, a here minus uh, dr divided by 1 minus b okay so we have derived this is our is function so i will write this is our is is function this is our is function here now graphically we can show if i draw the graph here sorry it is here 1 minus b here this 1 minus b 1 divided by 1 minus b this is the income multiplier this is called income multiplier income multiplier and we know that b is equal to marginal propensity to consume this is our is function or equation which we have derived now the intercept of this is function is a divided by 1 minus b so here the intercept would be uh, a divided by 1 minus b and slope will be this uh, d uh, divided by 1 minus b so our slope is uh, minus uh, d divided by 1 minus b is the slope of this is function okay on this axis we have rate of interest and here we have the level of income okay now given the values of the autonomous expenditure that is given the values of a i g and n x we can obtain the values of y a different uh, rate of interest that is if we are given the values of uh, a autonomous consumption or uh, autonomous investment the government uh, uh, expenditure which is uh, autonomous obviously here plus the net exports if these values are given we can uh, obtain the different values of the income a different rate of uh, interest so this a so this a determines the uh, determine is the intercept of the is curve and here is a so i will show here i will rub this so i will write this a a gives us the intercept intercept and this d and this d gives us the sensitivity of the investment uh, to the change in the rate of interest and it determines the uh, slope so uh, d is the sensitivity of uh, so uh, sensitivity of investment uh, investment to change in to change change in rate of rate of Inter, uh, in, uh, investment sorry um, sorry interest interest and and this determines the slope of this very is curve okay now uh, we can see here we can see here uh, if uh, if the rate of interest goes down if the rate of interest goes down obviously we have seen from the investment function because 
investment was the function of investment function uh, so autonomous investment minus dr okay if the rate of interest goes down then our investment level will go up okay that will imply when investment goes up obviously uh, our aggregate uh, demand will also go up which in turn will increase the level of income so this is the process if rate of interest goes down investment goes up which implies our aggregate demand will go up which will consequently lead to the increase in the level of income here uh, we can see the slope of is curve depends upon the size of income multiplier so this is our uh, 1 divided by 1 divided by 1 minus b is our income multiplier so the slope will definitely depend on this also because if this is the the value of this 1 minus uh, b will de uh, determine the size of the income multiplier so this was a brief intro how to derive the is curve algebraically i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like this please comment like and subscribe also in the next video we will see the graphical derivation of the is curve and i will make sure that i will use the simple language in explaining this is curve and subsequently we will go for the lm uh, function it